Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am so glad that you found me. Tonight, I am sharing with you another two ingredient dinner hack, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, I made a video a couple weeks ago that you seem to really like, and I shared with you a two ingredient dinner hack. The two ingredients were a rotisserie chicken and some kind of dip, and I shared lots of ideas for how you could start with that as a base, and then you could just add whatever other things you may have lying around if you are in a bind where dinner is concerned. It's quick and it's easy, and a lot of grocery stores have that, and sometimes whenever I don't have a dinner plan, I don't have a meal plan, and I don't wanna go through the drive-through, but I'm going by the grocery store, I can run in and grab those two ingredients and usually I can make up a dinner really quickly with those two things. So it got me to thinking about what are some other shortcuts I have taken in the past or that I have wanted to try for quick meals. I really needed one today because we are heading out the door to ball practice in about 30 minutes. And when we get back, I will only have a little bit of time to throw something together for dinner. I wasn't able to get anything together in the crock pot. I don't have anything waiting for us in the freezer. I really hope I'm gonna do a better job about that next summer because because this summer has taught me a lot of lessons about coming into it prepared, but it is what it is. Life happens and sometimes we just need a really quick dinner shortcut. So the two ingredients that I'm going to use as a base for this meal are frozen tortellini, one of my favorite shortcut things that I've been purchasing a lot over the last year from Walmart. I mean, this is a really great buy. It is less than $3 at my Walmart for a 19 ounce bag of tortellini. I can do all kinds of recipes with this. And a can of prepared soup, actually two cans. I'm gonna use two cans of this broccoli cheddar soup. So basically I'm going to make kind of, you know, a soup mixture to cook the tortellini in, and I'm going to peruse my kitchen for other items that I can throw into this to make a meal. Now I chose the broccoli cheddar to use today. This is just the Progresso kind. There was a Panera kind in the refrigerated section that I looked at, but it was nearly $5 for the same size container, and these were only $1.68. I just wasn't willing to pay to $10 for the soup base for this. So we're going to see how this works out. But I've done this before using some kind of tomato soup as a base for this kind of dish. And I also saw a Southwest creamy chicken style soup in the Progresso brand that looked really good. I was kind of tempted by that because I thought I could add like corns and black beans to it. But I've done something similar to that for dinner recently. So I just decided I would stick with the broccoli cheddar and I would see what else I have lying around that I could add to this. But obviously, you know, there's lots of possibilities here because there's all different kinds of soups and you would just have to kind of get the liquid ratio correct and the flavor profile for what you wanted to create for yourself for that day. So I am out in my garage in my chest freezer and I'm kind of fishing around for something else I can add to this to just kind of bulk it up a little bit. And also, you know, when I'm using something salty or high in sodium, like a canned soup, the more I add to it, the more that sodium is spread out across multiple servings so it's not quite as salty. I found these, these are actually broccoli cuts. And I remember that my husband came home with these by accident a few months back when I said, hey, will you pick up some frozen broccoli when you drop by the store? Because he was going for something and I didn't specify broccoli florets and he brought home broccoli cuts and they're not the same thing. These are not really great as a side dish in my opinion. I mean, maybe you like them. We just don't care for them around here. We just like the broccoli florets if we're eating them as broccoli. These um, go really great in soups and sauces and stews and stuff. So this will be a good opportunity for me to use one of these bags and just add some more fiber and veggies to this dish. So I think I will definitely add some of these to my soup mixture for my tortellini. Now in my freezer, I discovered these two things. This is a sweet Italian sausage, and then this is just a regular smoked sausage. Both of these though, I would have to defrost if I was gonna use either one of them. And this one, I would also have to cook because you know it's raw. Those would go really well, I think, with the flavors that I'm mingling here, but I just don't have the time or the energy to do that today. Plus, when I'm looking at the packages of these, this tortellini is going to have 12 grams per serving of protein, and there are four and a half servings here. So that's 12 times four is 48 plus six is 54 grams of protein in this entire bag of tortellini. And the soup has 12 grams of protein per can, so that's another 24 grams. So you're looking at like 78 grams of protein, plus maybe even a little bit from the broccoli. Yeah, there's three and a half servings. To, yeah, I mean, you're looking at like, 85, 86 grams of protein for the entire dish. So across, you know, six people, you're gonna be getting a fairly decent dose of protein per bowl, but you know, you could add some extra proteins to it if you want, but I'm just, you know, not gonna do it today because I think that what I have so far is gonna stand on its own without the meat. And in fishing around in my refrigerator, I just discovered 
a half eaten bag of steamed broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So might as well use that up. Might as well throw that in with the tortellini as well, right? I am just stirring my uh, broccoli cheese tortellini here that I'm making up. And one thing you wanna be careful about if you're working with cream soups is obviously those will scald pretty easily. So I'm having to bring mine up on heat pretty slowly. It's probably gonna take a little longer to cook. Hindsight's 2020. I probably should have gone ahead and boiled the tortellini and the vegetables together for a few minutes to kind of par cook them. And then I could have added them to the soup and just left out the water that I added so that I would have a little bit of extra, you know, moisture in there for all of the things to cook. But I think it's still gonna turn out fine. I'm just gonna let it cook slowly so that I don't scald anything to the bottom of the pan, but word of the wise. Okay, so this turned out just a little bit soupier than I intended it to be. That's my fault because I added water. Progresso is not a condensed soup. You don't have to add water. I just did because I thought maybe that the other things I wanted to cook a little bit, like the tortellinis, I wanted to plump a little bit. I thought that they would need a little extra moisture. Um, if I did not add the water, it probably, or if I cooked those things first and then added the soup, um, it probably would have been more like a casserole, but that's okay because we like soup. So I thought I would try it right now. It smells really good. I just added a little bit of shredded cheese to the top of it and I'm stirring that in and we will just give this a try. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I think it's just a tad bland for me. I might just add a little bit of salt and pepper or actually maybe like some Parmesan, like some Parmesan cheese in it while it was cooking would add just a touch more flavor, but it's really good. I mean, the kids will probably prefer it this way without a lot of seasoning. Maybe like some red pepper flake, just give it a little kick. It's very good and it's um, it was really easy. I mean, I don't do hardly anything. It took me longer to shred the cheese than it did for me to throw all this in a pot and turn the stove on. And we are eating this with a big side of fruit. I have this cut up cantaloupe and watermelon that I brought home from my parents' house this weekend. We were celebrating my brother's engagement. Um, I brought this home with me so the kids and I have been enjoying snacking on this alongside our broccoli cheese tortellini. Okay, you guys, I was right about the Parmesan. The Parmesan is what it needed, at least for me. I just sprinkled a little bit on mine and stirred it in and I love it now. <laughs> I don't know why, just that little thing added just a little bit of like salt and flavor to it. It's good. 